Are you ready? Wow. It's huge. Wow, this is cool. Yes, we were impressed with Utah. And we explored and hiked Dinosaur National Monument, Red Fleet State Park, and Moonshine Arch. We boondocked in Vernal, which we loved so much that we stayed for 15 days, our longest boondock yet. Dinosaur National Monument offered so much to explore. It's located on the Colorado and Utah border with parts of it in both states. The dinosaur fossils are only located on the Utah side. The quarry exhibit hall contains an entire wall of over 1,500 dinosaur fossils, which nature arranged more than 150 million years ago, deposited by an ancient stream. Isn't that funny? Look at that. You see that, boys? The University of Delaware it says this is where some of the bones went that they found from here. After the quarry, we took the beautiful scenic drive down Cub Creek Road. We stopped along the way to check out lizard petroglyphs left on the stone cliffs by the Fremont people 1,000 years ago. This is cool. We're walking amongst dinosaurs. Something about walking in the rain. This is my favorite environment and like landscape yet. You skip the switchback. Did we miss the trail? Yeah, we, <laughs> we went off trail. Stay on trail. Overachievers. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I see them way up there. Whoa. Let's keep going. We're getting closer. Oh, I got my stair goal. <laughs> yep, we'll definitely hit some stair goals here. I hit my stair goal. <laughs> That's funny. Wow, oh, look at this view. I don't know how they climbed up here. Well, we're climbing up and... Well, yeah, there's a path. But yeah, there are steps made for us. Look, there's one right there. Oh, my goodness. Fuck. So rich after the rain. Yeah, this is a good day to come. Super cool hike. Definitely recommend this one. This is to see the lizard petroglyphs. It's stop number 14 on Cub Club Road past the Cory Visitor Center. Check it out. Oh yeah, look at it. It looks like a whole face. Look high up. Yes. We continued on down the road all the way to the end where there was an old historic cabin. This is Josie's cabin. Apparently she built this house that you see behind me, this little cabin. Josie Bassett was a real Wild West pioneer who at 40 years old built the cabin and lived without modern conveniences for 50 years. Hi. Hi. Up here, this is so unique. Wow, and what's this other one? This little door. Hmm. Closet. Maybe this is her bedroom. Maybe a bedroom. Maybe it's nice and warm. Oh yeah, see the little home. Oh, for maybe there's a vent to keep it warm. Wait, right, what's in this room? What do you think this room was? Mm, Take like a guess. A shed area or something? 
had a door to it, so hmm, maybe another room. The windows are really low to the ground. Right. <laughs> it doesn't have windows. Very good. Near Josie's cabin, we took a beautiful half-mile round-trip hike into a shady box canyon. This canyon is where Josie once penned her livestock. So we just went through Dinosaur National Monument, which is huge. Do yourself a favor and take the drive down Cub Club Road all the way to the end. Don't, start, don't just stop at the quarry. Yeah. Do the whole thing. It is so uh, worth I it. believe that we probably missed a quarter or three quarters of this because we're not in the uh, Colorado side. We're just in the Utah oh, yes. side. But yeah, my we're... goodness, it's beautiful here. It is. We explored Red Fleet State Park first by taking a really cool three mile round trip Dino Tracks trail that crosses sandy washes, ribs of exposed sandstone, and slick rock. It's beautiful up here. The reward at the end of this trail is the 200 million year old Dilophosaurus dinosaur tracks preserved in the slide rock shores of the reservoir. We also took a swim in Red Fleet's beautiful reservoir, which sits amongst rugged red rocks, sandstone cliffs, and the Uinta Mountains. In our search for more great hikes nearby, we found a lesser known one called Moonshine Arch Trail. It's a 1.4 mile round trip hike to an 85 foot long natural sandstone arch with a 40 foot tall opening. We even climbed on top of it. Now the trail is turning into slick rock, which might get a little slippery with the sand here, huh? <laughs> Hang in there. You're a little hot, huh? We're staying hydrated. <laughs> this is a hike. A hike up, huh? A little harder than uh, dinosaur trackways, I think. No, it wasn't. No. Well, I think because this is in more sun and most of it's sand. <laughs> Just a little hard to hike through. We're super close. We see the part of the arch in front of us. It kind of looks like a ramp going up in stone and getting narrow. I believe that's it. Let's go see. Here's the arch. We did it! Wow! Look at that cool tree, the juniper. Wow, this is cool. Yay! Was it worth it? Yes. Yes, it was worth it. Well, hot. Maybe try this later in the day when it's not so direct sun. But this is cool. So, what do you think, boys? Do you think there's a path? There's already someone up there. Oh, to get on top of the arch? Oh, oh wow, okay. We'll keep be smart and let's see if we can do this. We made it to the top. The Moonshine Arch hike was wonderful. Now, it is rated easy but i think i would rate it more of a moderate only because it's uphill a bit it's only a mile but it's very sandy most of the way and then it kind of gets a little bit slide rock like it's a little slippery with the sand on it um but overall a great hike we even got when we got to the arch even got to uh access go onto the top of it uh which got a little scary but not too bad i mean my boys ages 7 11 did it um and it was nice now took us about probably 30 minutes to get up here it's definitely sunny today it's hotter um but we had enough water uh so we've got enough water and there's a little bit of shade amongst these juniper trees that we found so overall a great hike now i will tell you at the beginning like trying to find the entrance and everything is a bit tricky and there is a pamphlet that you can get at some of the restaurants around or like the visitor center it gives you a better description and i think i found something online too that gave a pretty good description um also my husband has the all trails app which is great it actually was really good for once we're on the trail and just kept us in the right direction to get to the arch so i will put a link 
to our blog that has specific directions on how to find this place because it's definitely a hidden gem and we highly recommend it. Thank you.